All right, folks, I'm inside of a standard metal car port, and I wanted to talk to you about the standard options that are available to you. So first of all, let's talk about the width. We start at 10 feet wide, and we scale out to 40 feet if that's what you want. This one's a 20 foot wide. Uh, lengths, we go in five foot increments, and we start at 10 feet long, and we go in five foot increments all the way down to 200 feet if you want it that long. And your leg height, your leg height starts at six feet tall and can go all the way up to 16 feet tall on your leg height. So those are the three very important dimensions that you need to consider for the type of building that you want. Most carports, we figure 12 feet of width for each vehicle. So if you got two vehicles, it's a standard width to go with 24 feet wide. But we can make it whatever width you want, from 10 up to 40, okay? Now, let's talk about your other options. You can put side panels on the walls on either side or both, uh, you know, one side only. And, uh, and they are standard to be horizontal panels, but we can also do vertical panels. The other thing is your roof. It's standard to have horizontal ridges on your roof, but we can also do a vertical style roof, which I'll show you in just a moment. All right, side panels, a standard side panel is three feet, and we can do go in three foot increments until it's fully enclosed, depending on how tall you've made the building. We also do a half panel, which is one and a half feet, okay? So that's important for you to consider. The gauge of the metal. It's a 14 gauge metal on the framing, and it's 29 gauge metal on your side panels and your roof uh, metal, okay? So keep that in mind. Now, let's talk to you about your roof options. This particular building has the very common horizontal ridges, but this is our mid-priced roof. We call it a boxed eave, and it has an eave that overhangs on the left and right sides. Okay. We also offer a vertical roof, which has an eave that overhangs on the left and right sides, but the, uh, the roof panels, instead of them being horizontal, they're vertical, and I'll show you what that looks like by going inside of this garage right next door to show you inside of a vertical roof. Right. Here we are inside of a vertical roof building. The ridges run vertically from the peak or the apex of the roof down to the sides. And some people prefer that for their rain, ice, and snow melt. All right, either way, no matter which roof you go with, we have a 35 pounds per square foot snow load on the roof. And I'll show you the other style of roof, the very common style of roof, which is this rounded corner roof. You've seen that everywhere on carports all around, okay? That's the other style. Again, it's horizontal panels, not vertical, but we do offer that rounded corner. So all three different roof styles, boxed eave right here, this is box, boxed eave with, with horizontal ridges, vertical, which has an eave, and it's vertical, and then the rounded corner, which I just showed you. All right, so if you are interested in pricing out one of these, uh, I wanna encourage you to take a look at this video description, and in the video description, I'm gonna have my phone number. Just call me or text me, number one. Number two, you can, uh, in the video description, I'll have a link to my website to look at all the different types of metal building styles that we offer, and there's so many. Um, you can take a look at any one of those, click on them, and it will pull up my 3D Builder app, and you can build your own building right there on your computer screen, laptop screen, phone screen, or tablet screen. And if that's too high tech for you, all you have to do is just call me, text me, message me, and say, hey, I want you to build one out for me with these size and, and, and these dimensions, and I'll do that for you. Uh, next most important thing to discuss is the surface that we're going to mount onto. This particular building is on concrete. That's how we anchor into concrete, straight through the frame, right into the concrete. Uh, we also can anchor onto dirt, gravel, or asphalt. Uh, the concrete mounting is actually our lowest price, and when we mount into concrete, we just go straight through the frame, right into the concrete. So if you're gonna um, pour a concrete pad that's exactly the same size as the frame, I would recommend that you upgrade to what we call our flush mount concrete, which puts a little L bracket here. And instead of going through the frame, we, we bracket through the, well, we mount through the L bracket over here on the inside of your frame, okay? So uh, anyways, those are your various options. If you have questions, please look at the video description. Get a hold of me. There's a lot of ways to get a hold of me. Easiest, just call me or message me, text me, okay? Take care. Have a good day.